Now, if we try to turn nitrogen gas into a form which is biologically available, there are three ways in which we can do this. We can do this by using bacteria. And there are two types of bacteria which we can do this, which are a zotobacter, which are free living bacteria in soils which fix nitrogen gas and turn it into ammonia. There is rhizobium bacteria, which are the ones which live in association with plant roots, specifically legumes, they live in the root nodules. Then we can do it this process industrially using what's called the Haber process. And the Haber process is the industrial production of ammonia by the use of um, high temperatures and catalysts and high pressures and um, hydrogen gas to join hydrogen to nitrogen. And then the other way to do it is through producing nitrogen oxides, which are done by lightning and um, exhausts from cars, particularly Volkswagens these days. Um, now, we're going to have a focus looking at um, these bits here, that which is the biological fixation of nitrogen. Both of these are prokaryotes, these are bacteria. Now, Azotobacter um, is free living, but Rhizobium um, is not. Rhizobium lives in association with a plant. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the plant receives something and the bacteria receive something. So the plant, we know, is happily photosynthesizing. And the plants take in the carbon dioxide, they take the light from the sun, and they use that, obviously, with water that they take up from the roots, and they split the water, and they reduce the carbon to produce carbon-hydrogen bonds, which are used to make you know, all carbon, reduce carbon in all living things. Now, this plant is also making, turning these carbon-hydrogen bonds into glucose and sucrose and amino acids and everything else that's the pro products of photosynthesis. But remember, this also has roots, and the roots are below the soil, which is what makes them roots. And in these roots, we have some specialised structures called root nodules. Now, these root nodules are where you find the rhizobium bacteria. Now, the rhizobium bacteria is a very interesting bacteria because it's receiving the products of photosynthesis, the carbohydrates, from the plant. Additionally, the plant is altering the environment in this root nodule to make the um, environment more favourable for the fixation of nitrogen. And the way it's doing that is it's lowering the concentration of oxygen by having a pigment in there called leg hemoglobin. Now leg hemoglobin, um, very similar to hemoglobin in, um, in us, um, has an affinity for oxygen, so it binds to the oxygen gas, it reduces the amount of oxygen that's present in the nodule, and this um, means that the it the nitrogen fixing enzyme isn't poisoned by the presence of oxygen. Now, the rhizobium, which exists in these nodules, is taking nitrogen gas and turning it into ammonia. The ammonia can then go up the plant and go into the leaf where it's turned into amino acids and nucleic acids and leads to the growth of our plant. If you get exam questions on how could a farmer um, 
have increased the nitrogen in the soil or the farm decides to grow a crop of clover or peas or beans the angle of this question is that these plants are legumes these plants have um, a symbiotic association with the rhizobium bacteria and that if you grow a crop of this clover then the nitrogen that is in the amino acids and the DNA and the RNA that is in the clover or the beans or the peas or whatever legume you have grown that that nitrogen has come from atmospheric nitrogen which has been um, fixed by the rhizobium and that nitrogen has then become part of the amino acids in the plant that if you grow this crop and then plough the crop into the soil that the amino acids that are present in the new plant matter and the new legume that those amino acids will be decomposed by bacteria in the soil and those bacteria will make um, obviously deaminate and turn this into ammonia and that ammonia will then be turned into nitrate through the nitrifying bacteria and that this nitrate then will be then be biologically available for other plants and for non-leguminous plants to take up and use to turn it into proteins and um, DNA. So if you get questions about why would you want to grow a crop and then plough it in, the angle that the question as it's coming from is that that would be increasing eventually the amount of nitrate in the soil for other plants. Other ways in which we can fix nitrogen um, the harbour process is the industrial production of fertilisers so you tend to, tend to produce ammonia and you tend to then add onto the soil you add ammonium nitrate which can be taken up by the plants either as the nitrate or as the ammonia and then get used to make um, again more amino acids and more DNA and more RNA or as nitrogen oxides which come from 